everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be making a beaded daisy chain necklace. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are making a daisy chain necklace. So you're gonna need your wire. Today I'm using eight pound um, spider wire. Now, the, I don't measure my um, things by um, traditional measurements. I do an arm length and across my chest twice. That's how I get the length that I need. And the reason I do it like this is because I'm never going to forget my arm and chest at home, whereas I forget my measuring tape on the regular. So, you're going to need that much. So, that's how much of the spider wire I took. So, arm length and across your chest twice. Okay. So we'll put that aside. You're going to need a beading needle. Now, one thing with this spider wire is that it is a braided thread. So you really have to like kind of pinch that end to get it to go through your needle. But once you do that, it works pretty well. And then we're only doing a single strand so I just brought my piece that I put through the, the eye of the needle. I only brought that to about halfway down my work. Now we're gonna start with the green. Now these are all the colors. I'm using green, I'm actually only using light pink. Blue, yellow, red, orange, purple, and black. So we're gonna start with the green. You're gonna need five beads. One, two, Sorry, not five, you're gonna need eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, you see how I dropped my beads? This is why I have a face cloth down. Okay, you're gonna put the tail of your thread through your fingers so that you don't go off the end, okay? Now we want to leave a bit of a tail. Okay, we need longer than that. I want a good five inch tail, okay guys? Now, we're gonna take those beads. We're gonna go in through the very first one. So our working thread is coming out here. See how it's coming out here? And we're going through that first bead that we put on. Okay, and now we're just going to pull those all together and we've made a loop. Now we're going to take one of the next colors. So the next color I'm going to do is a light pink. We're going to take that. That's going to be the center of this flower. So this is how you have to envision the flower. There's two beads on the bottom, two beads on the side, two beads on the top and two beads on the other side. Our working thread is coming out here. So we wanna go in the top left-hand bead, okay, so that we get this. Okay, so that's what we have so far. So now, sorry about that, my cat was playing with something and I wanted to make sure it was safe. So, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get to our next flower and in between each flower, we're doing black. So we're gonna pick up two black. I'm gonna do another flower of green. So we want those top two beads to be green. And then we're gonna do two more black. So that's six beads. The only time we do eight beads is in the very first flower. And then after that, it'll be sixes. 
Okay, so now our working thread is coming out here. So we want to go in the opposite, the bead beside it inwards. Okay. And I hold my beads while I pull my thread through so they don't distort. And this is what we have now. So to complete this space with black, we're going to pick up one black bead and we're going to go into the top left hand bead. See how I'm doing that? And we're going to hold our beads so they don't distort. And there you go. We're ready to start our next green flower. So we're going to pick up six green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you got six. So our working thread is coming out here. We're going into this green one like this. We're going to pull that through. Oh, unless we drop our <laughs> beads in our needle. Okay, don't do that part. <laughs> okay, sorry. So now we're going in through this one. Pull it through. Hold your beads so they don't distort. Okay, and now we're going to put a pink center. Take that pink. We're going to go up. So we got two on the bottom, two on the side. For those two on the top, we're going to go through the left hand one from the center out, holding those beads. And this is what we've got. Okay, I'm going to show you the black one more time and then I'm going to get set you free so you can just work on this, okay? So you're going to pick up two black. Now my next color flower is going to be the light pink. So two black, then we're going to pick up, oops, lost it, one, two light pink, and then two more black. So one, two black, right? Nope, I dropped one. Sorry, I'm working around a camera, it's hard. <laughs> okay, so now our working thread is coming out the top left bead, okay? It's coming out there. So I wanna go into the top right bead towards the center. We bring that all together. We're gonna pick up one more black bead. And now we're coming out the bottom here, we're going to go in through that top towards the outside. Okay, so this is what we've got so far and we're ready to make our pink flower. So I want you to continue this with the design that you're using. Like I'm doing two of each color flowers and I've got these many different colors. This is for a customer and they want this to be a 14 inch necklace. So what that means is I do it until it is 13 and a half inches. This is where you do need that tape measure or ruler. But uh, do that until you're a half an inch less than the full length you want and then meet me back. <music> to 13 and a half inches and I want it to be a 14 inch necklace. So now I'm gonna show you how to finish off. So one of the things is you need to finish off with a completed flower, okay? Then we're gonna pick up six black. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna bring those down. We're gonna go through the top two beads on the completed flower. And then we're gonna go back up through those six beads two more times. 
So I go through three and then I go through the other three. And then I'm gonna go through those top red beads. Oops. Go through those red beads. And then I'm gonna go through the black beads. And then through the other black beads. And then through those red beads again. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make your knots. Ooh, except that I just pulled <laughs> my thread off my needle. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so let me show you how to do these knots. So I'm gonna go in here between the work. Okay, so I'm in the corner. I'm not going through any beads. I'm just going between the work. I'm making a loop. See here, I have a loop. I'm gonna go through the loop once. I'm gonna go through the loop twice, same direction. I'm gonna make sure my knot goes in that corner and then I'm gonna pull tight. I'm gonna go through those two beads and you're gonna feel a little pop. When you feel that little pop, that is your knot going into one of the beads and that's a good thing because then we won't see it. Okay, so now I'm over here. My working thread is coming through here. I'm gonna go between the work See how I've gone between the work? Now I'm going to make a loop. I'm gonna go through the loop once and then through the loop twice. Okay, nope, I went through the wrong direction. So once and Okay, I'm going to guide that knot so it goes in the corner there. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Pull tight. You're going to go down the black beads and then across the red beads and continue. So I usually try and do a minimum of three knots. Okay, I'm going to show you once more. So I'm going between the work. Pull that through, make my loop, go through my loop once, go through my loop twice. Now see how my loop has jumped into the wrong place? I want it up in the corner. So now I am working around a camera. Oh, I got it. So I moved that bead and I got it back into the corner. I'm gonna guide that knot and I wanna pull tight in that corner. We're gonna go down two beads. Now you never, ever, ever cut where you knot, okay? I'm going to go down two beads, down this bead. I'm going to go down these black beads. I'm going to go through one of the yellow beads and then through that middle bead. And this is where I'm going to cut. So I've given a lot of weaving since my last knot. And there you go. So that's one end completed. Now do the same to the other end and then we'll meet back and we'll put on our clock. Okay, for this part, so this is what we have. We have our ends. So this part, you're gonna need your um, clasp. I like the lob lobster clasp. Some people like the screw clasp and always make sure your clasp works. You're gonna need a jump ring. And then I use necklace extenders because I sell my necklaces. And I wanna be sure that if, you know, this necklace lasts a long time for someone. And then I usually put a little charm or a little stopper just to finish off the piece. So here's what we're gonna do. These, um, these clasps, jump rings, and necklace extenders, come like this. I got them on Amazon and these are um, surgical steel uh, 
findings. And I do, I get those because they don't tarnish. At least they're not supposed to. So we're going to go to the opening. I'm going to open it. You'll always open your, your jump ring sideways. And we're going to attach this on to one of our ends. Then we will close that up. There we go. Now I give it a little pinch this way. And I give it a little pinch this way, just to make sure it's good and secure. If you are concerned about, oh, see it's not quite lined up there. If you're concerned about your beading coming through that little opening, you know what you can do? You can put a dot of crazy glue or a dot of clear nail polish. I don't worry about it because I'm pretty good about getting my ends lined up. So then I'm going to the necklace extender. I'm going to open it again sideways. I'm going to put on my little stopper charm here. I'm just going to close that up. up nice and tight. See that's not quite too. There we go. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until it's nice and tight. And then again a little squeeze this way and then a little squeeze that way. Okay and then we're gonna go to the other end. And we're going to find, come on now, going to find the opening, open it, and we're going to put the other end of our necklace on. There we go. Then we're going to just close that. Same as we did before. Now I'm working around a camera, so I'm doing the best I can. I'll touch it up after. There we go. I want that nice and close. Give it a little pinch. And there, oops, <laughs> I guess I didn't have that. Here we go. So, we are going to try that again. We'll hook it on there and hook it on here. Sorry, I keep going blurry. I don't know why. Grab it up there. Grab it with our other pliers. There. That's what I'm talking about. See how that's nice and closed. Pinch, pinch, and a dab of nail polish. So there you go, guys. That is your completed necklace. That's on there. Isn't it adorable? Okay, so if you liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And watch new, for new tutorials every Tuesday. When I'm on a roll, I can publish more videos. But uh, definitely check every Tuesday for a new one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.